All right, <clears throat> here's my review on this GunTech upper kit that I bought and put on my spikes lower. Um, first off, I ran into an issue. The first thing, it did not come with the sights. I bought those, um, but the first problem was the gun would not open fully. Um, I have pictures of it. It would only go about that far. Um, they thought I might have installed the kit wrong. They wanted the kit back to measure it to see if it made it up. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I have a 300 upper uh, that I put on this and it folded down. I thought it might have been the casting here on the pivots because, you know, some people say spikes lowers are not the best of quality, but whatever. Um, if that was the case, my 300 upper would have bound to the same spot. Now, you can see there how much I took off of it. Let's see if I can get it in the light a little better. Um, I'll be enclosing the pictures of all that. I did take quite a bit of material off of that. Now, the other issue with this thing, let me get to that. They give you this nice nifty flash can hider or whatever, fake can. Okay, let's put it on here and see what happens. You can only get it on that far. Okay, this has to sit out like that in order for this, these set screws, um, right here, that'll focus, you know, on those set screws. So you can kind of see a little bit, let me see if I can get better, better angle on this, but you can see it's not fully, fully flush. You know, I'm not sure if that's going to be a concern. Um, the set screws have kind of see that they were catching on that because like I said if you have this screwed all the way on this piece here this rail you know uh, by gun tech will not allow this to it hits and you know, it bottoms out somewhere on there that's as far out as I can have it okay otherwise if you screw that in these set screws will mash down on this groove and it will not be sitting in there properly. Okay, that was one, two, and also when I bought this, I could not get this sight on this rail. It would fit back here on the upper, um, but not on the rail. I had to file it to get this to fit. I actually took it back to the store, showed them that, showed them the binding issue. They wouldn't give me a refund. They would just give me store credit. Um, and then they wanted me to take this somewhere to have a gunsmith file this down, actually pay someone to file that down. It took me about a minute with a file, and it was done. Um, this took me maybe five, five minutes or so, um, but it fully opens now. Another thing is just the, the quality of something. Look, look, look at how... I mean that's that's significant. It doesn't it doesn't match up well. You can see in the light. You can see how off it is. Um, just totally off. Um, if you're holding this, okay, like firing it like so. If you're holding it like this. Your thumb is right on that. Your thumb, my thumb joint is right on that point. You know, and really. I would think getting your hand snagged up on your weapon could be a problem when you're going tactical, but is what it is. Um, I'm going to be doing away with this can because it's it's worthless on here. It doesn't do anything. It just pushes everything out the barrel. Um, and like I said, it, it's on that. It weighs it weighs damn near eight ounces, um, and that just I mean that's just it doesn't work. The problem is in this. Okay, so gun tech. And I emailed you on this twice. Okay, you wanted me to send it back and make sure everything fit up right. Um, I, I don't know how else more I could fit. Am I supposed to leave that out? Because what happens is when you were opening it, it was pushing this forward, as I have in other videos and pictures, which I'll post on this. But um, and I haven't fired this this yet because I was waiting on the spacer uh, for this. Um, but. You know, I've been cycling the bolt a few times with the, with the spring and stuff in it, and it's like, it's wearing on that side already. And then not really anything there on that side. So it's, hmm. And this is gun text as well. 
So, there you have it. I mean, it, it's a cheap, cheap kit, I guess. Um, you know, price-wise, I thought it was a lot of money. I spent 400 bucks for the kit. I was expecting a lot better quality because I read, read good reviews about their stuff. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, I would have sent this back and they would have sent me the same thing. I'm assuming, you know, say, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. And then I would have been, you know, stuck with all that and then all that downtime. So anyways, um, unless you have to buy something from Gun Tech, as far as this stuff, their other stuff is probably good. I'm not going to slam them on that because I have no, no, no experience with that. But this, this kit right here, uh, no bueno. I don't like it. I'm going to be getting a new upper and a new rail. Because, like I said, this does not match up, and that's going to be very annoying when I'm out trying to shoot this. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you.